1963, a delightful comedy hit the screens titled The Thrill of It All. This film promises a roller coaster of emotions, offering a mix of funny, shocking, and even sad moments that'll keep you glued to your seat. What makes this movie a timeless gem of the industry? Well, that's for you to discover as you journey through its witty dialogue and charming characters. As you delve into the world of the thrill of it all, you might stumble upon some lesser-known facts or anecdotes that add to its allure. From behind-the-scenes mishaps to unexpected twists in the plot, there's always something new to uncover about this classic. Now, as you enjoy the movie, we're curious what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to it? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the Kamalimtrans below. So, keep watching, keep sharing, and let's celebrate the magic of the thrill of it all together. The Thrill of It All, a classic comedy film released in 1963, is a delightful journey through laughter and charm. Set in a bustling city, the plot revolves around a young housewife who unexpectedly finds herself propelled into the world of advertising after a series of comical mishaps. As she navigates this new terrain, she encounters a charismatic ad executive who becomes both her professional rival and romantic interest. Together, they embark on a series of humorous escapades, juggling work, family, and love in equal measure. The main characters include the spirited housewife, the suave ad executive, and a colorful cast of supporting characters who add depth and humor to the story. From witty dialogue to heartwarming moments, the thrill of it all offers a tapestry of emotions that resonate with audiences to this day. Since its premiere, the thrill of it all has garnered critical acclaim and several awards for its charming performances and engaging storyline. Its enduring popularity is a testament to its timeless appeal, captivating audiences with its humor and heart. In the era of dubbing foreign language films into English, voice artists often took on multiple roles. Similarly, in Hollywood, voice actors sometimes handled several characters during dialogue replacement, known as looping. During promotions for the thrill of it all, the screenwriter, Carl Reiner, attempted to condense the entire storyline into a three-minute trailer. His efforts resulted in comical chaos as he had to accelerate the footage to a blur to fit it all in. One notable incident involved an actress telephoning the White House to explain her absence from an award presentation in 2004. She expressed her reasons directly to President George W. Bush and conveyed her hopes for his re-election later that year. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes add layers to the rich history of the thrill of it all, showcasing the complexities and intricacies of film filmlinetraking in the early 1960s. The creation of The Thrill of It All, a comedy film from the early 1960s, involved a unique journey. In 1957, William Howe and Casey Adams penned My Square Laddie, a twist on My Fair Lady with reverse genders. Interestingly, Nancy Walker, Reginald Gardner, and the actress herself, possibly featured in the only LP album. Despite undergoing emergency heart bypass surgery in 1988, the lead actor continued smoking until 2005, a habit he gradually curbed. Producer Ross Hunter sought to reunite Jeanette MacDonald and Nelson Eddy for roles later played by Arlene Francis and Edward Andrews. Before Francis was cast, Kitty Carlisle was also considered. These backstage insights add depth to the film's history, revealing the complexities of its production. Arlene Francis, aged 55 during filming, had a remarkable career trajectory. She honed her acting skills at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. Her breakthrough came unexpectedly on the set of Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm in 1917, catching the attention of Mary Pickford, who cast her in subsequent films, including A Little Princess and A Modern Musketeer. The casting of Arlene Francis brought a seasoned performer to the thrill of it all, enriching the film with her experience and talent. Her portrayal added depth to the character dynamics, contributing to the movie's charm and appeal. Her journey from a fledgling actress to a seasoned performer parallels the evolution of the film industry itself, showcasing the enduring allure of Hollywood's golden age. Arlene Francis's presence in the thrill of it all is a testament to her versatility and lasting impact on cinema. The Thrill of It All, a classic comedy released in the early 1960s, continues to captivate audiences with its humor and charm. Notably, it is featured in the book Funny Ladies by Stephen M. Silverman. The lead actor, a Korean War veteran, received two Purple Hearts for injuries sustained in combat, including one from Friendly Fire. Interestingly, he beat out Robert Blake for the lead role in The Rockford Files. The movie's creation involved a unique journey, with the screenplay initially inspired by My Fair Lady. 
Arlene Francis, a seasoned performer, brought depth to the film with her experience and talent. These insights add richness to the history of the thrill of it all, highlighting its enduring appeal and the complexities of its production. Amidst the vast array of classic films from the 1960s, one standout gem continues to sparkle brightly in the annals of cinematic history. This delightful comedy, known affectionately as the thrill of it all, brings forth a unique blend of humor and charm that has endeared it to audiences for decades. Set against the backdrop of a bustling city, the storyline follows a young housewife who unexpectedly finds herself thrust into the world of advertising after a series of comical mishaps. As she navigates this new terrain, she encounters a charismatic ad executive who becomes both her professional rival and romantic interest. Together, they embark on a series of humorous escapades, juggling work, family, and love in equal measure. The film boasts a colorful cast of characters, each adding their own flavor to the story's tapestry. From the spirited housewife to the suave ad executive, every role is brought to life with wit and authenticity, drawing audiences into their world with ease. But what truly sets the thrill of it all apart are the unexpected twists and turns that keep viewers on the edge of their seats. Whether it's a behind-the-scenes mishap or a heartwarming moment between characters, there's always something new and exciting to discover with each viewing. Behind the scenes, the creation of the thrill of it all was a journey unto itself. From the initial inspiration drawn from My Fair Lady to the casting decisions that shaped the final product, every aspect of the film's production was carefully curated to ensure its success. And while the lead actor's journey from combat veteran to Hollywood star may seem improbable, it's a testament to the resilience and determination that define both the individual and the industry as a whole. In the end, the thrill of it all stands as a shining example of the magic of cinema, captivating audiences with its timeless humor and enduring charm. And as viewers continue to revisit this beloved classic, they'll find themselves swept away once more by its irresistible allure. In a remarkable turn of events, Ross, known for his impeccable impersonation of Orson Welles, faced a setback during his stint on General Hospital. His departure from the show cost him years of steady work as another actor stepped into his role of Lee Baldwin, which endured for decades. Before gracing the silver screen, Ross cut his teeth in radio, showcasing his voice talents in dramas and comedies, including his memorable Orson Welles impression. His versatility extended to animation, where he lent his voice to numerous beloved characters such as Ludwig von Drake and Boris Badenov. However, Ross's journey wasn't without its quirks. He once declined the role of Maria in The Sound of Music, citing her American heritage as incompatible with the character's Austrian roots. This refusal echoes Ross's common treatment to authenticity, even if it meant passing on an iconic role. Such anecdotes provide a deeper understanding of Ross's career trajectory and his contributions to the entertainment industry, enriching the narrative of the thrill of it all.